All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with Charlie Blackman. Danielle, why don't you start us off? And Charlie, the whole team had a really good road trip, but particularly Brendan Rodgers. Um, what's it been like seeing him break out a little bit like this at the end of the season? And what do you think it means for the type of player he can be in the future? He looks really good right now. Uh, and he's just he's just gotten better and better. Um, you know, I'm really impressed with his defense this year. Uh, after seeing him play for the first time last year, really. And um, I mean, his defense is so good. And I think that's putting him in a position where he's, you know, feels good out there, feels confident. And then he's, he's starting to find his way with the bat. I mean, and, and be really good, like well above average, um, you know, and then his powers impressive too, you know, hitting the balls, uh, like he's hitting, you know, back up the middle and even uh, opposite gap. You know, hitting those balls over the fence is really impressive. And for the whole team, um, what do you think has been the biggest difference on this trip compared to past road trips? Um, I, I felt like as a, as a team, our team has really sc scored a lot of runs on the road trip this this trip compared to trips in the past. I think our you know I think our pitching is usually pretty good. Um, but it just seems like we had a lot more uh, extra base hits and a lot more home runs and just scored more points. Thank you. Thomas. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Charlie. Beyond um, the results that we saw, did you see this team maybe developing some confidence to where this could be a lasting thing? I mean, obviously next year is a new year, but you feel like uh, – Things are coming together to a certain degree. And can you explain what that means? I think it's good to see our team play well and do it for, you know, for a whole road trip, really. Um, and I, you know, I think it, I think it does go to show a little bit how good, you know, the, the West is in OS. I think that's a really tough division. Um, and yeah, so it, it's good to see us play well. And uh, I, I think, we have the ability to continue to play well. Uh, so I'm looking forward to more of that. And when you look at the teams that are coming in this week, the, the Dodgers and then the Giants, um, how much do you get motivated for the possibility of affecting the division? Yeah, I mean, I, I pretty much try my hardest to do my best every game, no matter what the opponent is, who we're playing. You know, I'm going to prepare the same way. Uh, I'm not I'm not turning it up a notch. Uh, my notches are already up, you know. So, uh, but, you know, they're going to be a good team. They're going to be really competitive. They're going to have a lot of depth. They're going to come in and play stuff. And from a team perspective, I mean, is is the experience of these type of games, how, um, how good would that be for this club maybe going into its future? I think it's good to put some guys in, in, in these situations, right? Get them up to the plate with runners in scoring position, uh, you know, get them on the mound with, you know, with the, the tying run on base. I mean, I, I think those are invaluable uh, experiences that are going to be, um, you know, going to be very important going forward uh, for a lot of the guys that we have on this team. Last one for me. Uh Throughout the year, you've talked about having confidence in some of the younger players that are here and thinking that, that you guys aren't that far off. You feel like a road trip like this just reinforces that, maybe not for you because you've said it all along, but for those, but, but for them and even your fans. Yeah, I think so. I think we've, we've got a lot of guys that have taken big steps forward this year. Uh, you know, most notably, I think Rogers, like we talked about, um, and then, you know, we've got, you know, I'm glad to see Sheffield back in the bullpen. Um, I'm glad to see uh, Lucas get in some big spots. Um, you know, Diaz has just been incredible uh, as of late. I mean, he's, he's just, he's been really good. And Dom's played really well, you know. Uh, it's, it's easy to overlook how, how well he's played the second half of the season. I, I've been really impressed with his game calling and his at-bats. Thanks, Charlie. Got it. I'll go to Patrick and then finish up with Nick. Patrick, go ahead. Hey, Charlie. Um, I asked Buddy this question. I didn't really get much of an answer, but I'm going to shoot it at you anyway. 
um, this coming week, and I know we're making a lot of it, but I asked Buddy, I said, you know, with the Dodgers and Giants coming in to lead off your final homestand of the year, is this kind of like the Rockies playoffs? Um, I think I might look at it that way. Some fans might look at it that way, but you as a player may not. I'm just curious if, am I making too much of it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's going to be the last, you know, 15 games or whatever that we play. So some teams are playing in the playoffs, you know, uh, this will be what we're, you know, what we're doing. And, and, you know, we still have a chance to, to win a bunch of games and, you know, scare some people. Right. Uh, but I don't think you're going to see it be like a, a you know, I, I don't think it's going to go down like playoffs. I think it's going to be like a very hard fought division series, you know, late in the season that has playoff implications. But I mean, I think you're, I'm you're taking fishing. Play, play, <laughs> you're taking playoffs for granted. You know, it's such a big deal to make it to the playoffs. And, and nothing compares to the playoffs except for the playoffs. So I can't, I can't say that it's playoffs. I got you. Thanks, man. All right, Nick, finish this off. Hey, hey, Charlie, it's, it's difficult to tell sometimes how, how seasons are connected to each other from, like, from one season to the next. When you look back um, at past mm-hmm. seasons, you know, I'm thinking like 2016, 2017, uh, maybe 2015 even, how, how important was the end of the season? How important was September? Um, is there a bridge at really at all to kind of knowing what the team is about going forward at the end of one season going into the next? Does that make sense? Yeah, I wouldn't put too much stock into the last few weeks of the season. Um, not like the first, you know, I think you have to look at the entirety of a season. Like, I don't think you can look at a trend line from the last two weeks and say, oh, look, look, this guy was really good for two weeks uh, and, and then plot that course for all of the next year. I don't think it works like that. I think, you know, it's a 162 game season. Uh, I I think you have to take the bad with the good, you know, you can't cherry pick what you want to, what you want to see. So yeah, take it for what it's worth. And is that the same for teams? Yeah. And you, you mentioned individuals specifically, but like, is that the same for teams in, in, in general too? Um, I mean, I think I think a little more so with the team. You can kind of see how the ending looked, right? Like, especially when you have guys that are coming back from injury. Uh, you know, I think that sort of helps. But 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 again, I mean, I, I think you can't just look at a home record and say, "Wow!" Like, all we got to do is do that on the road, and you know, presto, like we're a great team. Um, you know, there's there's it's not that easy. Yeah, I understand. Thank you, Charlie. All right, I think that's all the questions we have. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, everyone. We'll talk to you at Coors Field on Tuesday.